Hi, Miss Joni from Characters of Character. I just wanted to drop in today and talk about good behavior. Many times we've said to our children, behave. I know I did, raising our three kids. It was a big word, behave, behave, behave. Now stop and think about it. What does that mean? What are your expectations for your children? They need to understand, so you need to discuss and give them an explanation of what it means to have good behavior. So, we created Behavior Bear. We have a story called Let's Behave. There are plenty of other books out there if you um, enjoy reading books to your children. So please, please do that. If you go to our website at charactersofcharacter.org, under the tab is Character Corner. And we've um, created this during COVID because we're not able to be anywhere right now other than virtually. And it's, hey, your good character still has to be be with you, right? So how are we teaching our kids? I was doing painting classes, um, and until we can be together again, that's not happening. So we created Character Corner, and on there, you'll find templates to make. Behavior Bear Headband, a Behavior Bear Puppet, and I'm going to upload on there be Behavior Chart. So I really think it's important to discuss with your children what it means to have good behavior. For example, to be a good listener, that's part of good behavior. To keep your hands to yourself, not fidgeting around or knocking your neighbor, that's part of having good behavior. It's important to keep your eyes on the speaker, that's part of having good behavior. And when your eyes are focused on the speaker, you're listening. You're not just hearing what they say, you're listening. And that's important. While I was teaching preschool, I had a little boy and he came in every day and he was a little bit disruptive. Teaching preschool was new to me. I had already raised our children. Um, I loved every minute of it. I loved every minute of it. But he would come in and he was a little bit disruptive every day. And the one day he had come in and he directly went to the back of the room and kind of tipped a desk. And uh, I got the kids engaged in a activity and I went over and I spoke with him and I said, Giovanni, how can Miss Joni help you to behave better today? You know what he said? Teach me teach me. So his parents and I conversed, had a conference, got on the same page, and he was a whole new boy. But he didn't quite understand. You know, there's rules that need to be followed, and there's rules at home, there's rules at school, but if they have a foundation to build off of, they're going to understand. So I would suggest that you discuss with your children what your expectations are to have good behavior. Even make a chart, make it fun, get creative, you know, just get creative. I always like to have the character in their face, I say, visual, visual, visual and reminding them all the time. So make a chart and write down, discussing with your children, what does it mean to have good behavior? And they're gonna, they're gonna surprise you. But the three top ones, Focus, eyes on the speaker, be a good listener, and hands to yourself. And those are three tips today that I can share with you for good behavior. This is Miss Joni from Characters to Character. Until next time, let's behave.